Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. Today is the 7th of December 2021. And what we are going to do today is something totally different. Um, I am making snowflakes from uh, the leftover um, crystals that we have. What I done was, excuse me, I keep on getting bit by my, uh, what I done was taken an A4 um, paper and I printed out snowflakes and then I pasted the snowflake on a piece of cardboard and I glued it on there. Here's some of the ones that I glued on there. Here's another one. Don't worry about it, uh, Bandit, because it's the water-based glue. And here's another one. And here's a big one that is just drying and I glued the other one next to it. Yes, it's sticky. Now, we were doing some uh, diamond painting that had crystals in it. It's another one. This is going to be difficult to cut out, <laughs> but it's going to be real pretty. Um, I will show you. These are the crystals. They are a bit different um, from the normal resins. These are the normal resins, and these are the crystal ones. You see? There's a little bit of difference. We have a whole bunch of leftovers. Real beauties. Let me show you some of them. Let me try not to dump this because it's very difficult to collect. Here's some. Let me see if I can. They are totally different. They are crystals. I will show you some more. Here's some real pretty purple ones. These are all leftovers. And um, what I did was, after I glued, so these are all leftover crystals. What I have done is I have glued them, and then on top of it, to make it sticky, I put um, this glue, that's the same glue that's on top of this over here canvas. This is from Diamond Dots. And this is also water-based. Now, we're going to see if this works. I started putting silver around um, the top of it. And let's see if it got sticky on the top as if it was a canvas. Um, yes, I need to put my glasses on so I can see. I got it. Okay. I pick it up the same way as I do for rum. Um, I did not want it there. Yes, I do. Um, I put it on here the same way. I'm going to try and see if I can do some uh, multiplacing. 
So you see, it sticks on there. This is just regular paper with a cardboard on the bottom. And then I put this glue over the top. I will show you that also. So what I did was, let's take one of these. I took my um, glue, this is glued to a cardboard, and this is a piece of uh, A4 um, regular printing paper. So I took the diamond dot glue, I shook it up a little bit, it is rather old. I didn't um, have to use it. And it's um, watery. So what I do is, I will put it on here, and then I will wipe it around, saturate it. I want it to soak in. You see? It's the same thing I did with the one I showed you. Okay. This is the kind of paper you use for baking where it doesn't stick, so the glue will not stick to it either. And then I will let this set. I will put it on the side over here on my coffee table, and I let it set. Okay? This is the same thing that I did with this one. Um, the reason I let it set is because it's rather runny, and if I do it like this, then I will not be able to um, put the crystals on it because it's too runny. Now, let me see. Just a minute. Let me clean this. And then... Of course, I will seal this. You see? This is what I mean. You need to let it set. Okay? Now, we will see if we can work with it. If uh, the diamond painting pen will not work, then we will use the tweezers. So, seems to be working just fine. Now the back of this is this kind, which is different from the regular drills which this is the back of them. You see? This is a back to it to make it sparkly like a mirror, you know? This is crystal. Okay. Seems to be working just fine. These are all leftovers, so these absolutely cost nothing. What I want to say, see is, if I can make a different color for um, the outside, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if we can do this one. I don't know if we, if we put the glue far enough for the outside. It is advisable to put the top on, especially when you have somebody like myself that dumps things. Isn't that an absolutely beautiful color? Now let me see if we can make do some multiplacing on this. I was uh, wondering to do the um yeah that will work. I think that will look good. That color on the outside. Now let's see maybe I can do a number four. A four let's see another let's try a different um, multiplacer I'm gonna have to <clears throat> I'm 
replace the wax in this. It's an old one, it's not sticky. Okay, let's fill up the pen and we will see if we can do some multiplacing with it. Don't worry about the glue because it will stay sticky. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to go on the outside like that. You don't want to come out? Okay. I think that will look pretty, that color. What's your opinion? Good. I don't think this has wax in it yet. And then put that there. And then um, another one at the tip. I need to fill up the tip of the diamond painting pen. Well, since I am not artistically inclined, um, do be patient with me. Turn over, dear. No, no, no. You're being difficult. Okay, then don't don't turn over. Fine with me. There. Very good. What do you think of this color? I think that will work. As I said, I have right now four projects going. So, yes, you see? Okay, fill up the pan because this is not going to work like this. Okay, doc. There we go. Come over here. And then we'll put that there. And I want to put a clear one at the tip of this and on the other side well what's your opinion of that I think it looks good um, that's one two three so we're going to put the uh, silver ones in the middle in this uh, V Don't worry about it curling up because we're going to cover it, seal it, and then dry it upside down. See, it is sticky. As usual, you can see me sticking to it. Okay, you're being messy. Let's get this off of there because we have a bit of wax there too. Okay, you just rub it off. It comes right off, no problem. Okay, now let me see. Maybe we can grab a bunch of them. Let's see if that's going to work with a four placer. Yeah, that works. There we go. And then come down the other side. And over here, and then get the end. It's okay if it's not perfect. It's going on the window. We're on the first floor. Nobody's going to climb up on the, um, on the ladder and um, look at it, I presume. <laughs> Although, in this country, you never know. You never know what to expect. Okay. So we're doing pretty good, even with the multiplacer. Okay, then let's uh, do the green outside. What a beautiful color. There. And then. And then what I will do is take a needle with some silver thread 
and pull it through the top of one of the um, triangles and that's how it's going to be hung up there I think we could use another silver one over there there we go what fell off what are you you're a green one okay Finish this silver one over here. There. And then we can outline it with the green. You see the sparkle? Beautiful. And let's put some more silver one over here okay you don't belong here I don't know how you got here but you don't belong here we can use this for or I'm looking for the uh, jar where um, the circles are isn't that beautiful so we need to clean this off because some wax went on the side okay let's continue and I'm pressing it not harder than I would on a normal canvas as I said this is paper this is regular white printed paper, and I got the um, I got the pattern free from a website um, from a coloring book, and I printed it out, and this is how I got these patterns. Okay, dog. We do have a different kind of a diamond painting pen in case um, we have difficulty with um, trying to grab. Um, these type of drills actually take more wax than the regular um, drills. Mm-hmm. Um, either that's not dry or it just became too sticky already. No? Okay. Let's see if it will work now. Yeah, what I have is that it's stuck in the diamond painting pan. Actually, I think the wax must have come out. Hmm. Why not? I want you to stick there. Yes, there we go. So what I will do is wash these um, diamond painting pans. Uh-huh. Cannot slide it, slide it. Okay. I moved the cover paper and we have a glittery one on top of our diamond painting. 
Okay, you're not going to work like that. Let's see if you're going to work like this way. I might have to put more glue on there. Although it is sticking, so let's see, we can get this working again. Okay, what we're going to do is take a little bit of glue. Actually, you only need a drop or two, it goes a long way. We don't want the brush uh, too wet. Okay, gonna let that dry a little bit. Until then, we're going to go over here and do this one. Actually, the best thing is to give two coats of this um, very watery glue. And then um, you will have a much easier time, but I didn't want to show it to you guys. What we can do with our leftover um, drills and make a pretty sparkly decoration totally free like I said I do save my drills yet until I get to the point where I have um, as much as I would like to have however these crystals I always save you see this is the one that did not want to stick now we're having no problem with it Okay, I am sticking to it also. This is all uh, water-based, so what I will do is just um, wash with soap and water. I really should have uh, not have moved the, um, the paper that's covering our, uh, our main work. Or Christmas mouse. I named it a mouse because I don't know um, what it is. So I named it a mouse. Well, if it doesn't want to go in a jar one way, it will go a different way, but it will go back in the jar. I guarantee it. You know, We don't know the word, we can't do it. We don't know that expression. We solve all our problems. Hey, I managed to dump the drills. I know you haven't seen that in a couple of days, so I know you were missing me dumping the drills. Okay, what color are you here? Silver one goes in here. And I will put a top to it. I did have a, a damp cloth here. Actually, what I use is the baby wipes to wipe my hands so it won't be sticky. Okay, so what we have next is the green outline. We have decided to use the green for the outer color. That is real pretty. You remember last year we were doing um, some Christmas tree decorations and they are on the tree this year also. So some of these um, were left over from those projects. 
um, some from the keychains we were doing, some from the bookcase, uh, the notebook we did. Okay, you don't want to stick. I have the brush ready with a little bit of uh, this glue on there. I presume that you could use any sort of uh, Elmer's glue or what have you. I do have Mod Podge, but I didn't want to use it on this um, because I wanted to see if this, um, this glue from um, Dan and Dots really works. It seems to me, yes, it does. I want you to come off of my finger and go back on there. Yes, thank you. Okay. Actually, even a smaller brush or a toothpick would work. Since it's such a little bit of glue that you need. Um, don't worry about it, it dries clear. All of these are uh, especially made for uh, diamond painting. They all dry clear. Yeah, now what we're going to have to do is wait for it to dry a little bit. So we can stick um, the rest of the uh, crystals on there. Move over. Thank you. There we go. Okay, we have decided to put the green um, highlight. I have to clean up my... Uh, Okay, now let's see. Actually, we really should let it dry a bit more. We will see if we can get it to work. Nope, too slippery. Okay. Just go along. Until it dries a little bit, gets thicker, and then it will stick with no problem. I am stuck to the paper. It's a wonderful way to use our sparkly um, crystals. Certainly they are too beautiful to throw out. Like I said, don't worry about it sticking to you and everywhere else because it's water-based. 
and of course there's no smell come on move over okay we have almost done one snowflake I would have played Christmas music for you, but I always keep on getting copyright, even when I use non-copyright. I don't know why. Of course, I will trim off this brown over there. I think we could use one more in the point over here. Okay, then we use two, since it decides to stick. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. I think we're done. How's that? Now the last thing is to let it dry and um, So there's to it. Baby wipes are very useful. And our brush. And I use the same to clean out. And it's all done. So there is to cleaning up after it and then we're going to put this um, these green ones right back in here not over the glue part because I might spill it there we go So, the same procedure will go with all the rest of the um, snowflakes. And this one is still drying. The big one. This one. And I'm going to put this on the side to dry. Well, this is my artistic ability, you know, I mean. Ha, ha, ha. I know. I can see you laughing. So thank you very much for spending time with me today. What's your opinion of our snowflake? Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Goodbye for now. I hope you enjoyed making the snowflakes. Beautiful little decorations absolutely free. Please hit the like and the subscribe button. I will see you next time. Bye for now.